Hey folks, this is Vagrant. Welcome back to The Last of Us Part 2. We're currently in St. Mary's Hospital in what appears to be yet another flashback. I think this was, I don't know, a few years ago. Now, St. Mary's Hospital, I'm assuming this is the hospital wherein the events at the end of The Last of Us happened. Is there a chance that Ellie came back here at some point off her own volition? I have no idea, but we'll find out. Left a lot of stuff behind. Let's have a little wonder. I guess we don't need to worry too much about looting. We can focus more on just exploring. Do I have a gun? Right, I don't actually have access to a gun right now, which is... I can't tell if that's reassuring or not reassuring. <laughs> something so morbid about hospitals like this. With all the children's paintings on the wall and stuff like that. I admit it's very cliche morbidity, you know, it's... Oh, there's children and now they're dead. Wow. But still. By this time tomorrow, we will have altered the course of history. So this is definitely the right hospital. I think that's the part of the brain. Remember they needed to cut out Parvelli's brain in order to synthesize the cure. So I guess that's the bit they were on about. She must have come back. This is either... It doesn't make sense otherwise, right? Because Ellie wasn't... Aware of well, Ellie wasn't aware of this in the first. I'm very confused. <laughs> we'll see where it goes. How's that for a plan? What's this? The growth has clearly mutated. Let's see if the test results corroborate our theory. This is big. Is that me? Maybe she did know. And she's kind of been pushing it down. I remember this corridor from The Last of Us 1. Firefly logo. It's nice that they take the time to make pretty logos in the apocalypse. I always appreciate good logo design. <laughs> uh, da, 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 da. Okay. Is this the operation theatre? Yep. So Joel popped in here, he saw the three scientists, and he's like, no, step away from her, blah, 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 blah. Tried to rescue Ellie, and uh, shot them all, basically. As we saw at the start. Hello, buddy. I will become the Rat Queen. <laughs> what have we got in here? in the middle of the night like that. You talk to me. You don't just leave me a goddamn note. Tell me what happened here. If you lie to me one more time, I'm gone. You will never see me again. But if you tell me the truth, I'll go back to Jackson. No matter what it is.
control. Making a vaccine. Would have killed you. So I stopped them. Don't you fucking touch me! I'll go back. But we're done. So it turns out she did now. <laughs> I don't think she did. Hmm. <clears throat> Day three in Seattle. Clearly, before the end, at least to some extent, Joel and Ellie did make up. They weren't close, close. It was definitely awkward, but they were at least talking on some level. You know, Jesse. We're in a whole new place. Where have my guns back? I still don't have my guns back. The war, the merrier. Hey, look, Joel. It's your favorite. Curses and Viper. Crazy to me imagining just the amount of work that's been put into this scene right here. I suspect we'll never come back. Oh, look at this! A couple of bronze lions, we've got some angels with, you know, lights sticking out of their foreheads. Classy stuff. We've got, like some temple ruins, very cool. More ruins. We'll have a little explore. Interesting kind of art deco inspired architecture there. That's right, I know things. <laughs> What? What was that? Was that really necessary? Yeah. I don't think that was. Jesse, what's going on? Where are those two? I'm not gonna practice guitar. So Ellie did know, and then they got past it a little bit, and that's why. When the last from the last video, Nora said it's you. She she kind of knew what she was on about, right? It wasn't just oh she knows I'm the uh, the immune one. It's the one who got rescued by Joel. Maybe that's what they were annoyed about. Oh no, Dina. Me 
Is she pregnant? Yeah. I get why you came out here. But we gotta take her back. She needs real care and she's not gonna get that. Yeah, I know. I can't just leave Tommy. He's out here because of me. Maybe you could take her back. She's not gonna leave without you. Yeah. Screw it. Let's get Tommy. This aquarium that girl told you about. Tommy hasn't found Abby yet. We'll post up there until he does. And you're good with leaving Dina by herself? Her orders. Okay. Let's go tell her we're leaving then. I'll just meet you up front. Jesse is handling this remarkably well, actually. Hi. Hey, babe. I need you to lock the door for us. I have a friend again. The map showed the aquarium along the shore. Should be down this way. Yeah. I have guns again. Right, let me. Does anyone stay dry in this city? God, they didn't even, they didn't even give me full health. That's cheeky. So I'm gonna say Jesse is dealing with this girl who he recently dated for however long. Okay. Go for it. I got the impression she broke up with him, but I'm not sure. But he got her pregnant, and he's now hanging around with that girl, his pregnant ex-lover. Okay. And that girl's new girlfriend. And he's, he's just taking the stride. It's a good egg. Thanks. What did you tell Dina? That we're hoping to find Tommy at the aquarium. I didn't tell her you knew. That's what you're... I wasn't. Come on, Jesse, we've got buildings to explore again. Back to the good old days. Aquarium or wolf base? I don't think so. Nora said Abby's hiding out there. You get her to tell you why they did it? Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> Joel had uh, falling out with some fireflies. No, former fireflies. What kind of falling out? <laughs> uh, he was a smuggler. And they disagreed about some goods. If I broke out, some of them died. I guess they wanted payback. Damn. That change anything for you? Nope. I need to get clear on something. When we find Tommy, you're good with going home. Yeah. You'll be leaving some of those assholes alive. Dina should be back in Jackson. Okay. Good. It's interesting to think about. So I know I've struggled a little bit with the, uh, the revenge plot in this game because I do feel like it's continuously trying to make me feel bad for the Fireflies on the other side or at least sympathize with them and see that there is two sides to the story and I don't think it's been done particularly well but this revelation does change things a little bit I mean from their perspective Joel brought the cure to the Fireflies changed his mind and killed a bunch of them now if they had personal ties um, Abby in particular seems to be really invested and I suspect it's not just about the cure if they have personal ties to those fireflies who got killed, 
then what they what they did to Joel is exactly what we're doing right now. So it's justifiable in in a very logical sense. It is very justifiable. I don't think we can argue that. My problem is that people aren't purely logical. Shit. Locked. Think we can cut through that convention center? I do think we can cut through the convention center. Do my thing. Okay, we're good. Get some bloody bullets is what I need. Okay, that looks promising. So does that. A little scout around first. Uh, like rifle. Here. Jammed. Yeah. Well, they're going that way. Um. I want the brick. <laughs> I just, I've kind of, I've, I've not played the game in four or five days now. I uh, just took a little break from everything in general, basically. So I've been falling behind and why the videos are weirdly timed and all that kind of jazz, because I'm recording today, this video, right now, basically. This will be going up tonight. Hopefully that won't be the case uh, going forward, but... Um, I kind of forgotten half the controllers along the way. Right, nothing else here, I don't think. Let's go. Get you back, Jesse. You ever right. think they're gonna come back to Jackson after us? Eh. What do you mean? I mean we're going through a lot of their people. In their city. Because of what they did. Didn't Abby and her sons come to Jackson because of something Joel did? This place isn't like Jackson. I mean, Joel and Tommy helped Abby when she got attacked. These people are trying to kill everyone around them. I mean, they shot you on sight, didn't they? Yeah. They did. Worth mentioning. How long has been this sick? Only a couple days. When we first got here, she fucked up a bunch of wolves. You'd have been impressed. I bet. You don't talk to that girl. Maybe that's why it's being so nice. <laughs> that's an interesting point, though. So, as much as the general overriding plot ideas for both factions, if you split it into Fireflies and... or X fireflies I guess. The Wolves and Us. Um, whilst the revenge plot is understandable from both sides, the Wolves have done a lot of horrendous things in the meantime. You know, we've spent a lot of this game finding out about what they've done. And at the end of the day, Joel and Tommy did try to help Abby, whereas in the same circumstances, you don't get the impression that Abby or any of the others would have done the same thing. So, it does differentiate them quite strongly. At the end of the day, Joel was trying to save someone he loved. And that's a good point. Joel wasn't even getting revenge. He wasn't... He, he was just saving someone he loved. They're just killing for revenge, which isn't... I suppose so is Ellie, though. Who's this? Tormentra. I don't know. The revenge comparison is an absolutely fine one, but as Ellie says, it's, it's not that simple. Let's see what we can do. I don't think I've got many points. Uh, not really. I kind of want to put points into the rifle, because it's the only thing I've neglected so far. I really wish you didn't change your gun when you do that. It does probably make sense to get some upgrades for every gun, because you do have to use every gun, just because, uh, you know, that's how... The ammo is going to work in the game, really. You never have enough ammo to neglect something entirely. Cool. Come on, Jesse. Jesse's girl. No longer Jesse's girl, Jesse, I'm afraid. Jesse's girl. I don't know the rest of the song, I just know Jesse's girl. <laughs> Got some tape. How am I doing on pills, by the way? What was I saving up for? I know I'm saving up for something. Right, we were going down one of these two, weren't we? That's more arrows, which sounds really good. And that sounds really good as well. That sounds really good as well. I think we're going down this one. Let's go for that. I think 50% range on listen mode is actually super helpful. And crafting 50% more arrows sounds really good as well, so. I think the next one is a bit rubbish. 
Where's the next one? Give me a hand. Yeah, hold your breath. Doesn't sound that bad. Steve lays out aim a little bit. That might be helpful with the uh, the bow. If I just aim, it's not that bad. But you can see there is very definite. I'm not moving the controller right now. It's very definite sway there. Got your back, buddy. Okay. Nothing's trying to kill me in like 20 whole minutes. Through here. Yeah, well, I took that, pal. <laughs> what else do you think we were doing? Why didn't she tell me about it? The pregnancy. Listen, I, I'm sure she'll tell you about it when she. Oh god. All right. What is going on? Yeah, there you go. What the hell was that? <laughs> Son of a bitch. That was so weird. <laughs> oh, nice shot. I need to heal. <laughs> that was bizarre. <laughs> Jesse, you want to help me out here, pal? Jesse. Oh, shut up. a pretty little head out for me. Come on. Come on. Look, I'm gonna run up and chop you in the face with an axe if you don't do this, so... Which do you think's gonna... Okay. That was your choice, buddy boy. Trigger happy. They're at war with this fucked up cult. Heard them talk about Seraphines or something, Seraphites. Scars is all I've heard them called. You run into any? No. You're lucky. Scars. Sorry. <laughs> That was so strange. A, I did not expect the guy to jump over in the first place. There was a brief moment of panic. It's like, oh, what's going on here? Did not expect this. Thought I was going to be able to start off nice and stealthily. And then he just stands there. And I try to hit him. The hitting doesn't work. But he also doesn't see me. I can hear the noise. The rrrr, As in he's beginning to detect me slowly, apparently. But he somehow doesn't actually spot me. To be fair to the game, the game has very few bugs, so like one or two here and there is, is super not a big deal. It's more just my own entertainment more than anything else. Pills! How many do we need for the next thing? It's not much, is it? I think it's 40 again. Yeah, it is. Jessie's girl. Oh, we, got, we actually got some decent ammo there. They had a lot of uh, pistol rounds. Now we did burn through our rifle, but that's that's fine. You got to see combat as kind of like exchanging your ammo for other types of ammo, basically, because that tends to be how it goes. Assuming the combat goes well, you're not screwing up completely. 
What is this? It's reflective. I thought it, I genuinely thought it was a mirror. It's a very weird looking uh, wall. I have a little pook around. It wasn't Jesse's finest hour either, let's be honest. <laughs> See what we can see. I don't know why I've not been playing the game. You know, now that I'm back playing, I'm like, yeah, this is fun. I'm enjoying it, blah, 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 blah. I just haven't been able to bring myself to play anything the past few days, really. Not much, anyway. I don't remind myself, it is actually my job. <laughs> like, I don't get to just take time off because I feel like it. Well, I do, actually, as it happens, but I shouldn't. Um, hmm. I've got three scissors. So I kind of want to use them, but I've only got a little bit of tape left. I can make those wrong. And uh, no, we're not gonna. We're gonna. We are gonna make these though. It's kind of like I just. I don't think you can. You can have a favorite gun and buff it up, but I think if you try to neglect your other guns in the process, you know, you put all your crafting materials into one or two guns, I think you'll suffer for it in this game. I think you really do have to be prepared to use everything. It's a little bit like Doom Eternal. <laughs> you have to use every gun to get by. Seeing that, by the end, I basically just used a super shotgun. But, uh... Can I get in here? No. Okay, now what? Maybe we can head down there? Yeah, I know where to... I love when the game does this. I'm just exploring. <laughs> like, surely this is something you want me to do. Why do I need a hint to go down this street? <laughs> like, of course I gotta go down this street. Where else would I go? I'm very excited about the aquarium. I'm gonna assume all the fish are dead, but... It doesn't mean we won't see any cool things. Hmm. I'm gonna have a little poke. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Hoping for something good over here. Maybe a card. Two revolver rounds, three revolver rounds. Okay, nothing spectacular, if we're honest. Actually, no, we've got three revolver rounds and some explosives if you need them. It's a bunch of comics. Wait, what was happening here? Comic Con! Gathering for people who are really into this stuff. Like you, basically. We were born in the wrong time, man. I'm assuming that's the right way. We have a little poke around out here, just in case. But I don't think there's another building over there that I can get into. What's that? Oh, it's the plant post. Alright, let's go. Jesse's girl. <laughs> Ah! I'm a little worried about Jesse. There's three of us at this point. Four of us if you include Tommy. What's the chance that we all make it out alive, you know? It just seems unlikely to me. Before, about Dean. You said she'll tell me when... Once things are wrapped up here. I guess at some point it'll get pretty hard to hide it. Do you know if she's gonna keep it? I don't. Don't know if I want to have an... I mean, I personally don't want to have an abortion full stop. I don't know how that would work with me, but... Um, I don't know if an abortion during the zombie apocalypse is uh, a great idea anyway. I thought there might be something hiding under there. How would you do that? There's no way they've got the proper stuff. Uh, these are sort of things, I guess. You could risk it. It definitely seems riskier. I assume she'll keep the kid, though. <clears throat> she doesn't seem like the type to get rid of it. 
Not that there's a type who gets rid of it, not that there's anything wrong with having an abortion, blah, 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 blah. I'm very, very exceptionally pro-choice, as I think all reasonable human beings are, frankly. And if you disagree with that, I'm sorry, I don't think you're a reasonable human being. I think you're very silly. Look at this mess. <sighs> the aquarium. It's very nice to that Ferris wheel. He's hoping Tommy has the same info. Various wheel, I said rather. Damn it. Looks like we're swimming. Sure does. Whee! This way, buddy. Follow me. Working on it. Oh. Oops. Infected. We just go this way. <laughs> this way. Okay. Right. So I'm assuming this is actually the right way because I can see uh gone to there, over to there, onto there, and across there. But that means. There could be some pretty cool stuff in here. And I want it. Can I get the feeling this place is optional? That didn't work as well as I was hoping, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, it's all gone very badly. Jesse, get into a better position, buddy. Okay. Oh, no. I forgot, stalkers actually have pretty... They seem to be like, like they're like scouts, right, essentially? Because that one spotted me and then it seemed to alert the others pretty quickly. So, you need to be much more careful with those. And they've got good eyesight as well, they're not like the others where you can easily hide. Right, well that was alright so far, that little bit of loot in there, but I'm assuming there's a little something something else in here for me. Ran right past him, <laughs> right okay. for me. Now that's it. Yeah, I'm never gonna believe that ever again. <laughs> this place looks like a dead end. Nah. Yeah. I think you're right. To whatever sorry asshole finds me, can barely keep my hand steady, but everyone on base needs to know. I got ambushed on my way to relieve Misha at the monorail. Look out, one of the scars. That's why he looks just like our boy Gray. Fuck, I'm so lightheaded. Someone please put a bullet in that fucking snake's face for me and tell Misha I'm sorry. I tried to hustle. Oh. Um, I'm not loving my ammo amounts here. 
I'm gonna. I don't really want to. That's fine. That's fine. Oh, I go. Let's go try this little building down here. No, mm, okay, that actually might be a dead end too. Is this worth it? Eh, I spent a lot of ammo, you know. Maybe because I wasn't popping off with the headshots, but still. Uh, could have been worse, I guess. <laughs> Not by much though. I think I think that was a net loss, really, unfortunately. But hey ho. You gotta try, eh? Well this guy here, he took three bloody bullets to take down. I hit like both his shoulders. Oh Team Jackson. Fuck these motherfuckers. Couldn't have said it better. Yeah. It is nice having someone around. It just it makes it a lot better. I say better. It makes it. I feel safer. <laughs> I, I don't get scared per se. I don't get nervous as much. That's not necessarily a good thing, but. Hmm. There we go. Hmm, I actually got the uh, intended route wrong. No, I didn't. I can't get that way. Now, this seems like the less obvious path, so let's try it out. I'm wondering if this height will have any uh, advantages, maybe. And jump across onto there. Ah! Think you can ah! Let's see. Is this the right way? I have no idea. <laughs> I would have come, you know, if you told me you were leaving. I just... I didn't think you'd be okay with all this. I looked up to Joel. What happened to him was messed up. I would have come. All right, fair enough. Joel liked you a lot too, you know. He used to think I had a crush on you. <laughs> really? Next time I go on a cross-country rampage I murderous mean, spree. You're handsome and whatever, but I'm not into your type. What, Asian? <laughs> yeah, that's obviously what I meant. <laughs> hmm, interesting. Oh, <laughs> it's just the car <laughs> barreling through the wall. We're in a library. You can tell from all the books, you see. Pretty messed up, putting fungus in the kids section. <laughs> Mushrooms didn't exactly carry the same meaning back then. Uh, yeah, I guess so. Ah, real isn't how you are made," said the skin horse. "It's a thing that happens to the skin horse <laughs> when a child loves you for a long, long time, not just to play with, but really loves you. Then you become real. Does it hurt?" asked the rabbit. Sometimes," said the skin horse, for he was always truthful. When you are real, you don't mind being hurt. I know you're upset. What if we talked like this for a bit? Would that help? Okay. I didn't mean to grab you like that. I hope I didn't hurt you. Even mommies are scared sometimes. I'm okay. I'm really scared too. I get how angry you are. I miss him too. But you can't scream like that. I know. I love you very much. I won't let anything happen to you. I love you too. Oh. Yeah. The battle ghosts. It's about these space marines who fight off... Ghosts. Alien ghosts. <laughs> Sounds amazing. Sounds like something you'd like. <coughs> Sounds like something I would like as well, in all honesty. Oh, one sec, sorry. <coughs> ah, there we go. Jesse, come here. Okay. What about you, smartass? Well, my mom only had this one kid's book. The Root Child. 
about this boy who turns into a forest to save his village. Okay. To keep things fresh, though, my mom would improvise different endings. <laughs> this one time, the boy just let the whole village die. It gave me nightmares. <laughs> it's dark. That's really sweet she did that. Yeah. Mom's a sweetheart. She's gonna go crazy when she hears about this baby. Sure. I could see that. No way they made out of plastic. It's very disconcerting. Oh. They're scars, aren't they? They look like scars. Blood's still wet. Let's get back to the street. Yeah. Well, I guess a lot of the scars were wearing brown trench coat sort of items. Oh, there we go. Uh. Oddly enough, the library did not come loaded with bullets. <laughs> Much to my disappointment. Oh, we've got pills though. Very nice. There we go. Look at that cheeky little player. Oh, what is that? Oh, it's a... Um, is it a wrench? Yeah. <gasps> Froggy! Hey guys! How you doing? Hopping on the water. It looks very weird. I'm very proud of you. Alright, here we go. Good job, boy. Boy. Wait, dog? Dog. Sounds pretty bad. I'm sure it ain't easy driving a boat back here. I'll get your chance. We own. Pretty clean, it was phenomenal. Ah, the dog's whining. Ah, whoops, it is much less clean. Yeah, screw it up. I had a plan, but I don't know why I approached from the right hand side. I should approach from the left. From pretty clean to disastrous in two seconds flat. I know there's at least someone else here, but I don't see them. Oh, there they are. That's what I need to worry about up in the tower. Oh, times like this, I really wish I had the viewfinder. Hmm, that's a hell of a shot. Maybe with the pistol? I so badly want to be able to hold my breath right now. <laughs> I'm going to try to get a little closer. It is, it's definitely a scar. I mean, it's good for us if they're in a war, right? And Well, they are in a war, we know that, but... Really? Really? Screw it. God damn dog! Kill the goddamn dog! Oh boy! Right, I'm out of ammo. 
on Langley for that. You should so be dead. I'm so annoyed that you're alive right now. I'm annoyed that you're alive again. Jesse got him. Oh, what a disastrous beginning that was. Okay, let's go. Was the last one. Yeah. This place makes me appreciate Jackson, man. Me too. A little bit messy to say the least. The damn dog, man. The damn dog every time. I know I overly react to the dogs. Like they aren't as big a deal as I make them out to be. Like I don't need to react as quickly. But uh Yeah, what are you gonna do? If we played through the entire game with perfect stealth, I think it would be a little bit boring. I'm just saying. That's my excuse. Okay. I want to get like, a nice group and try out these explosive arrows. It's definitely on the list. We are getting into a slightly dangerous place when it comes to our ammo quantities, though. I uh, should have some shotgun rounds. Yeah, I've not used a shotgun in a while. I don't like using the pistol unless I absolutely have to. Because it's my silenced weapon, right? So you kind of want to use everything other than your silenced weapons in a non silenced situation to make sure you've got the silenced weapons for later on, is my theory. Just because we found some scissors, may as well. Oh, loads of scissors, very nice. Ammo, please. I know you're a <laughs> fabric store, but still, there's no excuse. Jules. Hey Jules, you're still out there. I say if you hurry you could catch us at the next rendezvous, but this flooding has really slowed us down. Zachary says this amount of water is unusual. I think wolf patrols have picked up too because I spend too many hours lying in the mud while the people that claim to be our friends motor by. Isaac and the wolves are really making this worse. For them it's just about egos and honour. They need to stop fighting for land they have no claim to. Despite what we heard, it was the wolves who broke the truce. We've been lied to, Jules. I don't know if what I'm... I would pray that she lights my way and that she does for you as well, Jules. Find us, come soon. See, you meet tons of, like, very reasonable ones. Well, you don't meet them, but you hear of lots of very, very reasonable wolves and reasonable um, scars. People who believe they're fighting for good reasons, you know? Genuinely. And believe in honour and all this kind of jazz. And a lot of them have lied to. But then a lot of them do just kind of drink the Kool-Aid and go all in. How are we doing? Yeah, very nice. Let's see how that works. That's rubbish. <laughs> it didn't steady anything. It did zoom in a little further. It seems to be moving absolutely plenty, but whatever. Maybe it's useful. That's a good building, though. Lots of pills. And we're very close to the crafting upgrade for the uh, the bow. Sorry, Jesse. Need to have a little poke around. Okay, building done. Just <laughs> bash on everything. Why the hell not? Another building over here. So you shouldn't medicate up after a fight. Unless you're like desperately low on health. But you should uh, definitely explore first to try to get some of the free health pickups that lay about. 
That's terrifying. <laughs> Don't like that one bit. No, no, no. Yeah, I think I could have come through here and fought from this building and stealthily and be in a much better position than I was. I definitely didn't tackle that fight in the right way. People underestimate how much of a difference it makes what you would do in reality and what you do while recording for YouTube. It seems dead simple, all I'm doing is talking nonsense, but it's always on your mind. It's always at the back of your head. Just thinking, oh, you know, I have to talk, I have to say things, let's try to be moderately entertaining, you know? You either focus on talking, or you focus on what's going on. It's, it's hard to multitask completely, essentially. And that's why YouTubers get really annoyed when people are like, Oh, you missed such and such. Well, yes, I did, but that's because I'm focused on things. And you're, like, staring at a video. That you can pause and check and all this. I don't know, whatever. It's not a big deal. It's not a big deal. That, however, is a big deal. Not that it happens on this series in particular, I would say. I don't think I've had a single comment like that, so thank you. <laughs> but it does happen. I also think you're much more likely to notice someone's mistakes if they are, you know, uploading for YouTube, uploading to show off the game and such like that, as opposed to, you know, if people are playing at home, they will screw up constantly. But you can also take your time more, but I, I, I'm not trying to defend myself here. <laughs> I'm just saying, it's, it's a thing, it's a thing. And every YouTuber knows what I'm talking about. I don't need a hint. No. Maybe we can go through there. Fishies! <laughs> I don't think they were textured. That's okay. It's remarkable how this game looks like this on a PS4. Not even a PS4 Pro, which I think I'm hoping is why I'm getting a little bit of lag, and that it's not an Elgato problem, it is indeed a PS4 problem. It's not overly noticeable or anything, I wouldn't say, so. Not a big deal, but. Ooh. A little cheeky. Wait, is this where I was before? No, it can't be, right? Yeah, obviously not. What am I on about? All these mannequins! I'm get my shotgun out, just in case. I don't trust this at all. I feel like it's a bloody episode of Doctor Who or something. These are about to all come to life and try to get me. I'm gonna get some weeping angels going on in here. Oh, hello, cheeky. Very nice. Very nice. Let's see what we can do with the rifle. Do I want damage? I think so. And then maybe some of those clip shots where I hit someone in, like the shoulder or something will end up taking them down, you know? Although I am, I will admit, I'm seeing more situations now where a scope would actually come in handy as well. It hasn't been a thing for most of the game for me. But at the moment, a scope seems pretty good. So does the rangefinder. I think maybe we don't do the rangefinder and we do the scope instead. I, th I don't think you do both. I think that's uh, pointless. Well, th I'll think about it. I think I'm... I'm gonna just go back to the shotgun for this. I don't know if I, I'm hearing things, but I, I heard something. There's definitely some rumbling about. It's an old building, it could just be crumbling a little bit, but still. That's good. We got a lot we got a lot of stuff there. Good job building. You're my favourite building of the day. A high honour indeed, I think you will all agree. Am I going under again? Looks like it. No, it doesn't. Hmm. When things are covered in leaves, it seems to be the game's way of telling you that you can't climb them, basically. 
Now, maybe that building was more important than I gave it credit for. Maybe that is actually... Aha! I didn't see that somehow. <laughs> I did I miss that? <laughs> oh, God. Oh, right. I didn't. Hmm. I suspect that's where... All right, let's, let's see if we can find a way into there. I suspect I have to go back up, don't I? Yeah. All right, no problem. At least we know where we're going now. Ah, you see? You see? Nope. Come on, Ellie. <laughs> Come on, girl. You got this, love. You got this. Maybe. We're getting there, though, lad. We're getting there. I say that, we're like halfway. <laughs> Whoa. This. That convoy. We could use that road. It's pretty fucking far. Or we use that. Yeah. That's better. Come on. That's right. Gonna go steal ourselves a boat, right? Seems like a good time to end things. Thank you very much for joining me, ladies and gentlemen. Hopefully, I know the timing on these videos has been a little bit less than usual lately. Um, hopefully, tonight is the night I can get ahead a little bit and that'll stop being an issue. The problem is I am recording on the day. Mass Effect wasn't, but, you know, this is, so... I will try. I'm, I'm you know, really enjoying the game and I think it's not a detriment against the game in the slightest. It is literally just... Uh, yeah, a bit of a sick and all that kind of jazz. But anyways, thank you very much for joining me. Next video, we're going to go steal a boat and make our way over to the aquarium. Cheers, much love as always. Bye-bye.